Can you please state your name? My name is Kim DeLong. I am a lead investigator off a profit of Minnesota. Okay. And the latest investigation down in Ottawa, um, can you explain what happened that was very odd during the interview process? Well, the strangest thing was is we were interviewing Bonnie and we had a lot of K2 action. And the K2 was set on the kitchen table with us as we were around it. And we just found that to be very odd. That has never happened to us before in interviews. So, What do you think that means? Well, we all talked about it. And we believe that it was Bill, which is Bonnie's late husband, and that he possibly wanted our team to come in to give his wife answers. Okay. All right. Would you say this was a pretty active investigation? I, I actually feel it was. We actually came came through with a lot of evidence, uh, K2 readings, along with some great EVPs, and uh, s lots of flashlight activity. Okay. Our group uses flashlights to try to contact uh, energies or entities. Okay. We went in originally thinking it was a malevolent haunt. Um, who do you believe is the strongest entity within the home? I and my team believe Bill is, which okay. is Bonnie's husband. You think he's got a purpose? I believe his purpose is to protect Bonnie. He feels that there is something other than him himself within that home. Okay. And I believe that he feels it's not great energy okay. to be around Bonnie or his granddaughter. All right. Uh, you had a personal experience in the granddaughter's um, bedroom, Catherine's bedroom. Uh, could you explain what that was? Yes, me and another investigator, uh, Michelle, who is also a co-founder of the team, along with myself. Um, we were in there investigating, and <clears throat> excuse me, um, Michelle was laying down, and I was sitting up. And she felt something slam across her back, like something ran across her back and out the door. And at the same time that that had happened, I noticed squiggly shadows running along the wall under the windows. And that made me feel very uncomfortable. Okay. I okay. just felt it was a more of a negative energy. Now, has Catherine seen a little girl in her bedroom before? Yes, Catherine and Bonnie have stated that they have seen a little blonde girl wearing an older fashioned dress. Um, and there is other entities that have been seen in Catherine's room, which is a tall man that has been seen near her bed. Okay. And is that energy supposed to be scary? The tall man? The tall man she does feel uncomfortable with. All right. Okay. Um, and you got a recording out of there on the EVP recorder. Can you tell me what it said or what impression it left with you? I believe that was the one that says, help me. Help me warn. Okay. And then Bonnie came through. All right. All right. So how about uh, Bonnie's bedroom? You had a personal experience in there? I had a very personal experience in that room. Me and Brian were investigating in Bonnie's room, and the camera was not shining on this area for the first investigation that we did, but for like five seconds, a bright white blinding ball of light appeared over Bonnie's dresser where she keeps angel figurines. And later, after that had happened, and we took a break from the session, I had went over there to see if there was anything that could light up on the dresser, and there was nothing. Okay, was this witnessed by Brian also? No, Brian's back was turned to it, and it had happened in a split second as I was facing the dresser. Okay, uh, what else took place in the Bonnie's bedroom? Uh, we had several uh, flashlights going off. Um, 
lots of activity actually happened within Bonnie's room. That was one of the most active rooms. Okay. All right. Um, now, with the activity that happened in Bonnie's room with the flashlight, you believe that is Bill, correct? I do. I do believe that. And Bill is a good old boy with his good friends. So, did he speak more to a certain team member than others? Uh, I believe he spoke to Brian more. And Brian would coax him with questions as of Bill. Would you like to have a beer with me? Flashlights would go off. Yes, I, I do believe that Brian is very strong when it comes to reaching the paranormal world. So when we approached Bonnie with uh, questions from our EVP session up there and gave her the answers, did you get the impression that the answers actually, or did Bonnie fortify that the answers matched Bill's personality? Oh, definitely. Most definitely. Along with Bonnie's close friend and Bonnie's sister. I believe that that sounded to be a lot like Bill. Okay. All right. Real good. Now, you, you did a second investigation down there just recently, a couple weeks ago. Can you tell me, after boundaries were set within the rooms, what felt different about the home? And how was the investigation a little different? Well, yes, Brian had set boundaries that night that we were investigating on the first investigation. When we went in the second time, we didn't feel any um, negative energy, so to speak. Um, there seemed to be a lot of bill within the house. The house seemed to be a lot calmer. Um, Bonnie seemed more relaxed. So I do believe that the boundaries that were set helped. Okay. Uh, one last quick question, and this is, so we spoke with Bill a lot up in the bedroom on the investigation, and first investigation. Second investigation, we spoke with Bill a lot more down in his chair where he used to relax after work. Is your belief that he's less worried about Bonnie now? And he's I, I do. I really think that Bill thinks that our team has helped Bonnie. Um, Bonnie has seemed more calm when we went in the second time. We asked her if she's experienced anything. She said it's been fairly quiet now. And so, yes, I believe that the house is really settling now and um, calming. All right. I thank you very much, Kim. Uh, that was a very good interview. Thank you.